Hi everybody, today we're going to be learning about how to use Audacity. So first of all, you need to know what buttons to use. Up on your far left corner, you're going to have your pause button right up there, and that's just going to pause your recording. It's not going to actually stop your recording though. Then you're going to have your play button, which is right next to it, and that is going to play, it's what you're going to use to play back your recording. The stop button right here is what you're going to use to stop your recording, and then right next to them, you see these two? These are just the fast forward and rewind buttons. You don't really use them. And the last one you have is the record button. And as you can see, it started recording. So to stop the recording, then you're going to play up. Uh, you're going to you're going to press the stop button. So the thing is, is that every single time you record something, if you want to use, if you want to do another recording, you actually have to delete the one you already did. So what you're going to do is you're going to go, you move your mouse down a little to the exit on the audio track right there. So let's try it again. So we're going to record it, we're going to talk, 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 press the stop button, go down to the audio track exit button, and delete it. Okay, so the next thing you're going to do is we're going to actually do an actual recording, so we're going to do it one more time. So we're going to click the record button, click the stop button, and then you have a very nice recording of a high-pitched sound. So now from here, you might want to find the frequency. How you find the frequency is you're going to be clicking your, your, your selection tool right here. It's up at, at the top. And then you're going to go down to your actual recording and press what you want to select. So you can either just click once like that, or you can highlight a section. So highlighting the section actually makes it so you can choose exactly what you want to check the frequency for. So I'd recommend doing that. So after you do that, you're going to go up to your toolbar at the very top, and you're going to click Analyze right here. As you can see, it's going to have a drop-down menu, and then you're going to go down to Plot Spectrum. This is going to plot the spectrum for frequency. It's going to come up with this lovely graph, and you're going to want to find the highest point that's near the front. So the highest near point near the front is going to be right here. You see that? Okay, now, so that's going to be where your frequency is. So then you're going to go down to the bottom. Oh, my bad. Right here. You go down to the bottom, and you're going to go find the peak, which is right here. And this, you can see the little ripple right there. That is where your that that is going to be your frequency, 44156 hertz. And then, so you can write that down. You can press close, and then you can do it again another time. Okay. So now that you've got your, now that you've found your frequency, now you might want to look at what the graph actually looks like, what sound looks like. So you have you you, you have a place where you want to find it. That little line right there, you selected it. Then you're going to go right under the select cursor to the little magnifying glass at the very top. You see that? Okay, now you're going to slide. Now to zoom in and out, you're going to go all the way to your far right corner and you're going to see two more selection tools. The zoom in tool and the zoom out tool. You see how I'm doing that at the very, very corner? There you go. So what you're going to do is to see, to actually see what it looks like, you're just going to keep on pressing the plus sign to zoom in and in and in. And eventually, once you press it enough, you'll see these lovely, lovely sign graphs. And that's actually what sound looks like. Um, um, so, yeah, so we're going to try it one more time just to make sure you guys got it. So we're going to exit out, remember, because every single time you want to make a new recording, you have to exit out of it. So we're going to start the recording by pressing the record button. Then we're going to press the stop button. Then we're going to go to the little icon, the selection tool, click on that, come down highlight the part that we want to find the frequency for, go to analyze, scroll down to plot spectrum, click, find the highest wavelength which is right here, hover over it, oops, hover over it, and then we're gonna go find the peak which is down here, which is 4154 hertz. Write that down, I'm gonna press close, now we're gonna see what it looks like. So we're gonna click the selection tool again, Click on where we want to find, see, see it. Go, da, go back up to the selection tool and go to the little magnifying icon for the zoom. Go all the way to your right to find the plus and minus with the magnifying glass and press the plus until you can see a beautiful, beautiful sign graph right there. Very nice. So thank you for going this with me, and I hope you guys have a great time using Audacity. Thanks. Bye.